Hey guys, this is going to be a short video about how to use a single switch to detect multiple positions with an Arduino. More specifically, I'm talking about a rotary switch, which is a circular component that stops in several positions and can be useful to activate different circuits separately. For example, you could assign different speeds of a fan or motor to each position of the switch. You could also assign different values of a timer to each position, etc. On this video, I'm not going to go very deep into explaining every step, because it's fairly simple to set up everything. So I made a, a few slides you can follow about the materials needed, the wiring, and then a brief explanation of what the code does. Hope you like it. All right, so now we upload the code, okay? There we are. Then we open, we go to tools in here, go to serial monitor, and we see that the switch is in the position uh, forward right now. If we rotate the switch, we should be in position three now. There we go. Position two. And finally, position one, and we can go back to the first uh, position, position four, there we go. Now a brief explanation about what the code is doing is that first we're uh, defining here the uh, positions that we want, right? Uh, and we're relating those to a pins uh, in the Arduino, right? 9 through 12. Then in here in the setup, we are telling uh, the code, okay, uh, use uh, position, uh, use pin 9, for example, uh, as an input, but also activate the pull-up resistor uh, that the Arduino has uh, internally, right? We're doing that for uh, the four uh, pins that we're using. Uh, then in this part, we're just uh, turning the, the yellow LED off. Uh, the Arduino uh, has a little... Uh, LED connected to pin 13, so we're just uh, turning that off because we don't want to use it right now. And then we're just activating serial here with a baud rate of 9600. Then in the loop, what we're going to do is we're going to read uh, the pins, right? The information that's coming from the pins, uh, we're going to give that to an integer. Uh, we're going to call this variable switch position 1 through uh, 4, okay? Uh, after we get uh, the the uh, reading from the pin, uh, oh, and by the way, because uh, we activated the uh, internal pull-up resistor, then these values, when the switch is not connected to, uh, is not making connection to a, to a specific pin, then those values should be high, okay? But whenever we are uh, in, a, in a certain position, for example, position one, then that value is gonna be low. And that's how we know in which position uh, we are uh, at a certain time. Uh, if position 4 uh, is low, then that means that we are position 4. And then we're just giving a little uh, delay of a second here uh, so that we sample every pin uh, every second. And that's it.